what's up everybody true boxing here thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth today i'm continuing my 2021 year-end top tens as this video is going to look at my number six super featherweight in the world right now at 130 pounds the rainy are the newly crowned ibf champion kenichi ogawa of japan uh ogawa set himself up in a position to become a, a challenger again for the for the ibf title he set himself up i think with the number two spot and um what happened was is uh he floated through the year waiting around for an opportunity and then after uh Aki rakimov and diaz ended in a draw the, but then the title remained vacant after joseph diaz uh missed weight and got stripped and then uh, Rakimov did not defeat Joseph Diaz in their fight. The title remained vacant, but Rakimov, because Diaz was overweight and fought to a draw, he was granted another opportunity at the title and was supposed to fight Kenichi Ogawa in August, but he had to pull out of the fight with an injury. So Ogawa was ordered to fight Azinga Fuzil, the next highest rated contender for the vacant title, and that fight would take place in November, at the end of November, and I honestly thought Ogawa was going to lose that fight, but Ogawa went out there and really controlled the action and really kind of beat up Fuzil. Fuzil was in the fight. It wasn't a blowout, but the three knockdowns that Ogawa scored on Fuzil really uh, helped Fuzil pull away with a comfortable unanimous decision victory as he captured officially his first world title with that win. And now pretty much has his... Um, has his 2022 set up uh and the reason i say that is he has to make a mandatory defense against rakimov that's the first thing out from from all from what i understand of the situation he's got to fight rakimov first uh in the first half of the year and if he gets by that he's gonna have to fight englishman zelfa barrett and there um you know because zelfa barrett's the next uh mandatory so it looks like there's two mandatories due for Ogawa heading into 2022 and um you know that that's really a win over Rakimov is going to put him easily in the top five if Burchell and um and uh Jamel Herring leave the leave the the 130 pound division as expected then um that's going to open the door for Ogawa to really make some noise he just signed with Matchroom and Eddie Hearn so that's going to help him also and then, after, you know, we just got to see what happens. Personally, I don't think Ogawa's going to beat Rakimov. I think Rakimov beats Kenichi Ogawa, but you never know. It could be a close fight. I mean, Rakimov struggled with Fuzil, and Ogawa didn't seem to struggle so much with Fuzil. So I think it could be a very close fight, and we'll see what happens. But Ogawa, his stats real quick. He's 33 years old, 26-1-1 one one right now with 18 knockouts. And, um, you know... He's an all-action fighter, and we're going to see him and Rakimov mo most likely the first half of the year. And that's it. That's what I got on the newly crowned IBF super featherweight champion, Kenichi Ogawa, currently my number six super featherweight in the world as my 2021 year-end top tens continue. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.